Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of uh, Automated. I hope uh, all of you are having a good summer. Uh, today, we are joined by my dear friend, uh, Kent, who I believe is in the States right now and not in Canada. Kent, how are you doing today? I'm trying to be stay cool. It's uh, going to be 114 degrees here in Phoenix today, but uh, I have AC, so it's all good from that perspective. Yeah, but perfect. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to the show. I hear that there's a, a really interesting demo here today that sort of brings together the technologies near and dear to my heart. So Power Automate and Power Virtual Agents. So I'm, I'm really excited about what we're going to talk about today. Perfect. Yeah, today today is all about the art of art of the art of possible. And uh, so we are joined today by a special guest. Uh, we have Daniel, who uh, has been uh, doing his summer internship uh, with us in the Parkat team. And Daniel is joining us from Mexico. He's doing his internship as a sort of a remote uh, employee. And uh, he's had a fantastic three months, I think, in his own words. Like he's, he's sort of done a lot of work in the space. And uh, so today, let me just get an overview of what Daniel has done, you know, trying to show these sort of what I call, you know, there is death by a thousand cuts and there is click by, or death by a thousand clicks is my new word, where automation COEs, you know, have to sort of do a lot of these mundane tasks like assign license or remove license, check the flow status, check the bot status, get the Power BI report. So they have to do all of these sort of things through different portals. In some cases, they don't have access to portals. And it's, it's, it's very, very painful. And Daniel has been working on this project on his internship to sort of make that easier. So with that, Daniel, over to you to introduce yourself and show what you've done. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Daniel Adron Ramirez. You're here, I'm a software engineer intern for the Cup team. So yeah, a little of things for me. Um, I study a play mathematician and computer in Fesaco Plan on Nam. Um, I'm working from uh, Mexico, uh, working more to, 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 to here. Um, for, for my hobbies, I really love uh, the music. I actually I play uh, instrumental music like a uh, guitar and bass. I really love any subject. I and I love the programming contest. Uh, and actually, I participate in ECPC contest, Hackers Club, and Club Job contest. The goal for for this demo was uh, create a chatbot to help uh, the Center for Excellence to adopt robotic process uh, to help uh, and support the users. So what, one of the uh, things that uh, we see that uh, the Center for Excellence spend a lot of time to do uh, uh, a lot of requests uh, manually. So we can do this request uh, with uh, a web uh, platform technology. So the solution was create a Power Virtual Agents chatbot uh, mounted in Teams, and we use technology with Power Automate, from Web Composer, um, Power BI, um, and BC to, to to planning the 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 user experience. Yeah, what what was the process? So the process for for the chatbot is uh, Power Virtual Agents is mounted in Teams, and depends on the request. Uh, Power Virtual Agents use uh, Power Automate uh, to do like a, in the backend the get the data or or do uh, the update of the data, and this uh, <clears throat> process or, or calls to to APIs is authentication with Azure Portal and ID credentials, and um, we use Framework Composer to do a, a better experience for the user to create bottoms in, in, in options and just uh, framework SDK to embed uh, Power BI uh, tiles. So after that returns th this information to Power Virtual Agents to show at the user and go to the demo. Okay, so the, the main trigger to, to use the, the chatbot is to stay high and show uh, some options. Uh, the first option is uh, license details to check uh, license details for this user test. And uh, we see that use uh, just one license. So the other thing that we uh, use is uh, assign license for the user. 
So just click in assign license and introduce the uh, email and choose what license we want. So choose Office if part. And the chatbot say that it's used to the statement. Yeah, we can check that to license details. So just click it in license details and uh, introduce the email. Uh, wait uh, a little time and we see that the license is a statement for the user. So the other thing is uh, check the environment list. So just click the environment list and wait uh, a few seconds to the chatbot response with all environments for for this user, and we check it uh, the environment. Uh, other thing that we uh, have want to do is um, the machine list for a specific environment. So just click in the machine list and wait a second to uh, show the environment like a bottom. So just need to click it in the environment that we, uh, we want to know the, the machine list and wait a little seconds and the chatbot showed the machine list uh like a like a list yeah uh, a static list so other thing that we want to do is uh get the floor status machine so just click the info status machine choose uh, a environment a specific environment to the machine where is the flow so just click it in, in the environment and wait a few seconds to show us the machines in, in this environment to, to, to choose one. So the chatbot shows uh, the machine list like a bottom. So just click it in the machine. In this case, I just have one. So you click it in that and return a matrix with the flow name and the date name and the status code. And the other thing is, uh, get uh, visual to Power BI, so just uh, click it in the bottom to machine help. The chatbot returns a uh, image with the visual of Power BI. I did that with uh, Power Automate technology, the backend. Uh, this is like an example that how I do that. I use uh, a HTTP request and tra transfer for the JSON and get the data things. Um, and return this uh these values for the uh for the power virtual legend uh, and in Azure portal uh we use these uh IDs to uh get this information so I I I use uh Azure portal to do that and for the bottom please uh I use uh framework composer to get data and transport in bottom to show at the user in in Power Virtual Legend. So here I create like a dialog and just call for from uh, Power Virtual Legend. And here is like a, uh, like a little topic that I I did that called different uh, cloud flows and and the process I I used. Uh, variables to know if this uh, flow, flow, flow flow was successfully. If yes, continue with, with the process. If not, show in what uh, cloud flow uh, uh, done done wrote. So yeah, this is the demo. In the front end, you build this chatbot for automation COEs to execute their commands. And in the back end, you build custom connectors to do all these operations. And the custom connectors uh, were using service principles in Azure AD. And that's how you were giving access to uh, all these operations. Uh, so this is this is cool. Like, what specific APIs did you use for license? Like, like yeah, I, I used uh, Microsoft Graph to, to assign license, to get the details of user license. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, I, I do this, this query with Azure portal to authenticate my, my user to get that information. And so, so Daniel, you've been with us for just around three months, almost three months. Now, before you had joined, I don't believe you had any experience with Power Automate or Power Virtual Agents. So uh, like share your experiences with us. Like how did you enjoy the tools? Was there anything that 
you ran into that was, you know, you found was difficult? I guess, how do you feel about the Power Platform having gone from zero experience to building a very, you know, complex demo here? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, when I started, I, uh, I don't know any, any, any of that technology. And I, I think that I, I can do that because it's uh, entity technology, like just uh, click uh, no, 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 code, no, no code technology. So just click it in, 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 in so part and read a lot of, um, and I, I guess that the answer that I create that is, is because uh, one, I, I, I have help for, for, uh, and support for my team. And the other thing is the technology is, is uh, intuitive to, to use. That's very, really, really cool. And then how did you think or how did you feel about Teams and using Microsoft Teams as a sort of a chat canvas for you to sort of unlock all of these other automations? I see that technology like uh, the most important technology now because, you know, you help to the people to use uh, technology very difficult if, if you don't have this technology because it's a lot of cover and things like that. And this, this thing is, is, is amazing to, to use for, for many people and, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's so helpful for, for the people. And Daniel, how was your internship experience? Um, that's really, really great, really good, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, the experience that I have, I grow my abilities and I uh, work with a, a really, really good team. And I feel that support for my team. And um, yeah, I, I really feel like a, a, the balance to, to my life, to experience, to work. And I, I actually, I think that one thing that I do that is because uh, is is really interesting for me. So uh, when I start uh, my internship, ask me about what what are my passion and what is my interest in. So I, I think that this really helps to build that because uh, if 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 you just uh, say me that do you do that or or you need to 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 do to do this test. Uh, without my opinion or with my interest, it was more difficult. But yeah, it was really, really good experience. Well, that's awesome to, to hear that, Daniel. It's been a pleasure having you part of the team and working with you and seeing all of this energy and sort of this innovation come to life. Uh, one thing for viewers, uh, we're going to have a similar episode on the Build-A-Bot channel where we're going to go deeper into Composer dynamic lists and see how Daniel went ahead and embedded that Power BI tile in a chatbot. I've never actually seen that done, so I'm like super pumped to see that session as well. But do look for that on the Build-A-Bot channel itself. Um, any closing words, Pranav? Thank you very much, Daniel. All the best uh, for your future. And thank you so much for building this. I'm sure all our viewers will greatly enjoy it and, and they'll be asking us, when do I get this, basically? So <laughs> thank you so much for working on it. Thank you, guys.